And like I always say, man, let's crack into the actual shoe itself. What's up and welcome to Coop's Kicks. We are back with another video today, man. Like I said, we're going to keep it going with this OG, um, you know, original gangster vibe that we've been going with, guys. And like I said, if you guys haven't, make sure you do go check out the videos before this one, the Deion Sanders video. Definitely check that one out. Um, and definitely lock into the Air Force Jordan collab um, that went on. Uh, back some time about 15 years ago man you guys will see some of those classics i'm just continuing to keep bringing them to you um i really feel like this is you know definitely part of the sneaker heritage um as far as you know where the sneakers started from where the game is going where it is right now uh you know but without further ado man you guys see the box so if you do see this box man you guys should know this is definitely something og um you know boxes didn't really come out like this in this um, particular style man but you know with this box as you guys can see it right here you guys already know what this is with the brown box though um you know this was coming from east bay um these are my original ogs um you know i do have one more pair of these uh and this is going to be a size 12 as you guys can see the box is so kind of old um on this pair that it actually got ripped and i don't know if that was just due to damage or whatever else um, but you know without further ado man like I always say man let's crack into the actual shoe itself and let you guys see what it is it is the Nike Air Max Penny 1 and you guys see when these drop guys um, you know I was a kid 1995 man Penny was already one of my favorite players in, in, in the NBA you know that thus far michael jordan of course you know who couldn't go wrong with michael jordan but man penny hardaway when these shoes came out man um i think i went bananas over these shoes when i was a kid and i had to have them i just think the overall design of the shoe was different um you know and this was the first introduction to the phone um if you guys did not know um and maybe some some earlier editions but as far as the most well-renowned known sneaker would have been this penny one right here man as you guys can see with that white foam on the side hence in that black and white and then you got the black and white orlando magic theme tongue then with that blue nike sign man and then the most importantly man spinning them around getting to the back you guys see the one cent man and Everybody knew when they seen this uh, symbol, uh, you know, they may have not have known who the player was behind it if they didn't watch the game, but you got real familiar, man, with, with that one cent logo. And Penny changed the game with point guards, man, being a, you know, six, seven, six, eight point guard coming in, dominating, scoring, driving to the paint, dunking, and dishing the rock off. Uh, you couldn't go wrong with a pair of pennies, man. And then he came out with that iconic commercial with Chris Rock, uh, you know, to introduce Little Penny to the world. So to me, uh, you know, these are definitely some of mine that I kind of hold close. And I said, I'm going to bring you guys some of the stuff that I feel like um, that I like that are kind of close to me as being a sneakerhead. And this is just a pair, man. Um, only thing I didn't like about this shoe was the durability. I've had a couple of pairs now of these. The OG pair, um, you know, only thing in my biggest fuss was that this particular air bubble, overdue time, water, everything else, the glue was known to separate on this shoe, man. Um, you know, other than that, it would pop under here too as well. As you guys can see, these are worn because I do wear my sneakers. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, that, that air bubble unit used to pop, the whole shoe would detach. Um, and to me, over time, uh, it wasn't just, it wasn't built well. Now, the Penny 2s that dropped, however, to me, um, you know, that really revolutionized the sneaker game because it took a basketball shoe. It really deemed it a basketball shoe for comfort, uh, for ankle support, um, you know, for all of those different things. And durability-wise, the shoe lasted a lot longer. So, as you guys already know, I'm going to be doing older uh, sneakers so we're gonna, we're gonna take you back in the time to me where the game really started off and it took off after that when you had pennies you had charles barclays you, know, you had chris weber you had jason kids you had tim duncan's you I mean the list goes on tracy mcgrady's and this is just any you know name shoe like 
Um, it went bananas back then in the early 90s, man. And it kind of set the bar for where they are now. Drop in a comment if you guys think sneakers are too high right now. I myself personally think it's getting out of hand. Uh, you know, shoes are getting up to the prices of cars. Like I said, I will be doing a video on that one too. Uh, make sure you guys do check that out. But back to the matter at hand. Definitely going to review these, man. You guys see it. It is that Air Pin 1. Got that classic black and white uh, tongue on it for the Orlando Magic. And it was a shoe that really went with his uniforms well. Uh, Orlando basically wore those black uniforms uh, when I was coming up as a kid back in 96. He did introduce a lot of different variations of this shoe, um, you know, after his Orlando Magic days, of course. Uh, but, you know, he did have, um, you know, the All-Star Edition that dropped in these. They were all black. Um, he did have, you know, different variations of this shoe as he changed uh, teams in the NBA. Uh, but, yeah, man, you couldn't go wrong with that colorway, that classic Nike tongue right there, man, with the blue check going down. Uh, the hint of the black and white to kind of accommodate the Orlando Magic uniform. And then overall, you know, just that bottom. The bottom to me was another one too uh, because it really introduced that that Nike check. Uh, the Nike swoosh sign, excuse me. The Nike swoosh sign, um, it really introduced that um, and on the bottom of the sneaker. Now to me, like I said, this was a good style shoe as far as basketball comfort. I'm going to rate it probably a six, um, you know, on my radar because I did play basketball in these. I did do, you know, walk around in them, um, you know, as far as that too. But comfort wise, these are definitely probably about a five or a six. Now, I will show you guys in some of the other videos that I'm getting ready to do for the Air Penny 2s. Um, and some of the other things that I'm getting ready to do for you guys will show you how better made that shoe was for actual basketball. Now, it does have the ankle support here to try to stop that ankle from rolling. Uh, just to me on the twos, they went up a little bit more over your actual, the tongue of your shoe and gave you a little bit more st uh, support and stability. But yeah, there's the inside. As you guys can see, still have the, uh, the logo in the inside there. Still got my shoe trees in there. Um, you know, and for those of you that don't know, these shoes will be re-releasing in 2022. Um, and we'll see what they look like in the quality and the craftsmanship and if they kept the overall traditional look of the OG pair like these. Just curious to see what they do. Um, you know, if they, if they do anything different to them or they, you know, anything else that may be slightly different from these, I'll probably pick them up. But if they're identical to these, uh probably no need to grab them uh, other than just to put them in the collection man but this introduced the phone um you know the phone posit and then from there man nike just had something and it took off and you had a marketable guy like penny behind it uh penny was the closest thing to jordan in my opinion and for those of you that do not know michael jordan wore a pair of pennies uh when something happened i think they went on a away game and he couldn't find his sneakers and uh, he used a pair of pennies so yeah, true facts, you guys can look that up, man. This did come out in 1995. Uh, like I said, I was in high school at the time, and I remember shoes came out on, you know, weekdays instead of weekends. And, uh, you know, we would leave school to go get a pair, run up to the mall. Uh, you know, the, the posse that wanted to go check out the latest kicks that was coming out or have them that day for school, and we would run up to the mall and just grab them, man, and, and come back to school with them on. So, yeah, man, I, how could you not add this to your collection, whether you are a fan or not? You gotta respect this shoe, man. You gotta respect the player behind this shoe too, man, uh, because I feel like Penny changed the game, and Penny, Penny would have definitely changed the game a little bit more had Penny would have stayed healthy and had his body would have, you know, kind of withstood the, the test of time, so to speak. But Father Time is a, you know, is an all time, you know, at the end of the day, and we all gonna face it, you know, and. Uh, Still, to me, one of the most iconic basketball players I've ever seen uh, lace them up, man. So, you know, without further ado, man, I had to bring you this, the Air Penny 1, as you guys see it right there, man. Classic colorway, the OG colorway. These will be re-releasing in 2022 sometime. I haven't confirmed a month for you guys, but I will get it. But if you want them, man, you better lock in now. I have my pair, maybe two pair, um, two or three pair of these so far. 
Um, but, you know, if they do come out and they do have something different, I will grab them. If, if they keep it pretty much the same in OG, uh, I've got a pair. Um, but, you know, that's going to wrap this one up, man. Like I said, we're going to try to keep these videos under 15 minutes. I am at the 10 minute mark. So I just want to make sure you guys leave down in the comments what's your thought on this shoe. Uh, you know, were you an Air Penny fan? I also have another video coming up of regarding the Air Penny 2. And like I said, man, we're just going to climb back and forth. Um, you know, take you guys back in time and let you guys see where sneakers really started and how watered down this mess is right now. Um, and we'll check that out. And then after that penny review, man, I'm planning on bringing you guys a customization. I'm going to show you guys a customization of a shoe. Um, and then I'm actually going to fully customize, you know, my sneaker and show you guys how I do it freestyle with, you know, just with my hand, man. Not even using tape or any of that. That's how we get down. So... Uh, stay tuned for that video as well. Just stay locked in, man. If you like the video, make sure that you do hit the like button. Make sure if you do like the channel that you do hit the subscribe button. Like I said, it goes a long way for what I'm trying to do. On this channel will be sneaker education, sneaker reviews. Anything sneaker related will be on this channel only, man. And I think that's what I'm going to wrap this one up, man. Um, you know, appreciate each and every one of you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that is it for Coop's Kicks. Until the next time, peace.